everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, we are going to be making bath salts. It's absolutely gorgeous. It smells good and people are going to feel so fine in their bath because you can offer this. The fragrance I'm going to use today is going to be maybe more for a woman, but we could absolutely change the fragrance for a man. But it is so charming and I have decorated this with different things. Very easy, you'll see that. So first I'm going to show you this one. So the bath salts here are with the flavor orange because it's very soothing, very relaxing. And I have put in there some decorations with um, its fabric flowers. So people will be able to spread this on top on the water and float it. It's going to be really nice. Of course, not using paper, otherwise it's going to be yicky and you know it's not going to be good and a little bit of decorations a nice little bow and on top i have put here a big kennel so it won't be exactly this one because i've already used it but when you take it away then you will see all the bath salts inside and it smells so good and here i did the same i've used little candles here they look like flowers i mean they're absolutely gorgeous i didn't have any in orange but i think they still look nice in pink color so the person will be able to take a nice relaxing bath with very nice fragrances and also have putting one or two candles here and there so because i used a big mason jar they'll be able to use this maybe two or three times depending on how much you put it can be a one use or several uses usually you put a handful of salt in your bath and you're good to go so very easy to do uh, instead of using uh, candles you could also use bud flowers or dried flowers um, and I will tell you a few things I wouldn't use because I don't think it's very convenient for the recipient. And this is really, really simple to do. So let's get started right now. So here is what we're going to be using. So uh, apart from our salt, we're going to be using a little bit, because I want to have an orangey theme, I'm going to use a little bit of orange essential oil because this is very relaxing, very soothing. Uh, lavender is very well known for that, but not only. Orange is great. And you have different kinds of orange. You have tangerine, orange, you've got different things. I'm going to use something very simple, but I love this smell. And I'm going to use also food coloring. And I will tell you something about that later. I want to use a little extra something in there. And this is totally optional, but I'm going to use also different candles. I would like to have the same color, if if I can, of the, the other oranges or something that looks like it. And we're also going to be using some artificial. This is optional. The artificial flowers, they're uh, fabric flowers. They're not uh, silk, but they're fabric. I would, I'm not going to use any paper flowers inside as a gift. I'll show you that in a moment. This is also optional, but I want to put that in. For the decoration of our lid, I'm going to be using some paper and paper flowers that I've already done in the past. And if you want, you will be able to check these videos up in the upper right corner where the eye is. If you click there, you'll see uh, different videos. We'll be using this, and also I'm going to be using uh, ribbons for the lid decoration as well. And I think it's it. So first thing that we're going to do is take a bowl and we're going to put some salt. So I'm using this salt. This is kosher salt. Of course, you can use Epsom salt if you can find that. Depending on the countries you are, it's not always easy or it can be also very expensive. This one is 5 kilos, which is, makes about 10 pounds. And I bought it under $2, 2 euros, which is really cheap. And it's really thick. It looks like Epsom salt. And it's salt anyway. It's pure salt. Um, so it's going to do the trick. So first you measure, you put the salt into your container, and then you spill it in. Don't fill it up to the top because we're going to put goodies in there. All right, that's just about the right measurement. And then I'm going to start using my food coloring. Food coloring is the best thing to use in here. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, don't put too much, though, because what is going to happen if you put too much if you want to really have a bold color, it's going to stain your bathtub. You're going to have the person, the recipient is going to have to clean up the whole mess because it's going to stain. It's not so much going to stain the body, the skin, but it will stain uh, the, the bathtub. And I don't think it's cool when somebody has just been relaxing for a while to make that person clean up the whole mess. So put a few little drops at a time 
and then if you need a little bit more you'll be able to add more uh, but you can't take it away so I'm going to mix this very well all right I'm going to call it good and as you can see, there are some darker st spots and lighter like these haven't got any color, which I like. Nothing is even. I like to have this contrast and it smells so good. My goodness, if you could smell this, this orange is absolutely a pureness. Oh gosh. I'm, I think I'm going to take a bath very soon with, with, with just that. That's usually what I do in winter. I don't take so many baths in summer because it's too hot. So now that we're done with this, we're going to put our essential oils. So again, I'm not going to give you any measurements because it really depends on your container, if it's big or small. But I'm probably going to put at least, let's say, 15 to 20 drops. And then we'll put it back into our container so the smell will not evaporate too quickly. And we're going to mix that again. Okay, I'm going to call it good. So the quantity that you put in a bath, I mean, it's totally up to the person. Usually it's about a handful of salt. So if you have a big container like this one, the person will be able to use it several times. So that's also nice. It's, it's, just, it's not just one time um, use. So now that I have done this, I'm going to put this aside just a second and we're going to decorate the lid. So I'm going to put, I'm going to take this. And I have already cut out a circle with my dies. And I also had these paper flowers on hand that I, I usually make them, um, you know, sometimes in front of a TV show. So I'm not totally losing my time. So first I'm going to glue this down. And I'm just going to use double-sided tape. So the person will be able to take this, uh, this tag away if she wants to reuse the container for something different. Now I'm going to put, I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue. It's going to be just fine. And right up on the top here. And I'm going to fluff it up. I could have used hot glue as well. So it's going to be nice and fluffy. I love making paper flowers because you can really use up all your scraps. Look at this, how nice. I really think this flower is gorgeous. And because of the color, it gives a little hint to what's inside. All right, so now I'm gonna take my container and I'm gonna start spilling a little bit of salt on the bottom there. I'm not gonna yet fill it up to the top. I'm just gonna put a little bit. I'm gonna put about three fingers high and I need to put a little bit more. All right, I think that's going to be good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these flowers that the recipient will be able to put in her bath. And I'm going to fill, I'm going to put the flower just like so. You could use other uh, colors. I'm just to decorate the inside of my jar. And since I'm going to give it directly to the person, I'll be able to explain why I have put flowers and if she wants to use it or not. And maybe I'll do another video with more masculine scents. Maybe like coffee or um, maybe gingerbread. That could be for male and female if you like gingerbread. It could be maybe some chocolate taste also flavor. All right. So now, just before I show you, I want to add a little bit more. Be, I'm going to be careful not to ruin my flowers. And you can help yourself with a bone folder to make sure it's going to look nice. And this is what it's going to look like on the side. So I think it's also a nice decoration. You can still see the salt in there. I'm going to fill it up, not completely up to the rim, because now I'm a little tiny bit more. 
All right, now what I want to do is maybe stick in there a few candles. So I thought these candles, when they were in the box, they looked orange. Actually, they are pink, but it's okay. You can use pink also and put few candles in there. They're cute because they're a flower shape, but if you don't have any of these, you can find these uh, tea lights in orange as well or the color you have chosen and put them inside as well. And then I have also this kind of huge, this one I've already used it, so I'm not going to put it in. But you have sometimes really big flowers and it just fits right in there. So I think it's nice. Whatever you choose will look absolutely great. I think I'm going to go for these. So I know that I can put a little bit more salt. And again, you can use also these um, dried flowers. You also can find a uh, rose buds to do this, real rose, dry rose buds, that'll be fine. But I wouldn't put, again, like I said, I hope I said that in the beginning, um, lavender, because when you put lavender, a lot of um, videos show lavender, but when the person is going to spread the lavender first, it's going to be hard to take that away from here, from the salt, and separate it, uh, unless you put it in a baggie. But then when the person is going to take the water off, this, this, it might clog your, um, your bath tubes. And it, I don't think it's a great idea. So it's better to put something big the person can take away before taking the water off. So these buds are big enough and you can spread some of these too. So I'm going to put this, these in here. I hope I'm going to be able to close it. I'm going to take my lid, yes, perfect, and close that. Look at that, how nice it is with the little flowers. I mean, it really looks cute. And now we're going to decorate it, so I'm going to use a little bit of this ribbon. And I'm going to make it fluffy. So for those of you who have watched my previous video, I did a bow like this, very simple one. So I'm going to go a few times around my fingers. And like so, one, two, and I'm going to go for three. That's going to make three loops. All right. And you might want to use a um, hot glue for this. So now I'm going to take this other piece that I had pre-cut previously, and I'm going to make a knot on the back and I'm actually going to make two to really make it secure and I'm going to try to center it but with this kind of I don't know what kind of fabric this is like satin it's going to slide so I'm going to secure it with a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to have four little tails there so now I'm going to center it and just put in the back a tiny dab of glue. Right, I'm going to cut these babies also at an angle. Like this. I like the way it looks. I'm supposed to have four, one, two. Oh, there it is. This one is smaller. It's going to be fine as well. Okay, we'll put it in shape later. And I'm going to take a bit more of that and put it around my jar. And just in between the lid and the jar. Okay, I'm going to cut it there. And again, I'm going to secure it with a second knot. All right. So if, if, if I want more tails, I'll be able to have longer tails. That's good. And I'm going to glue this baby on. And I'm going to let this tail go, go down also. Oh, okay, a little bit of glue. I'm going to put the tail back in there. Here. And more glue there. And, oops, here. 
Now I'm going to open it up a little bit so it's going to make it really fluffy and have more volume, 3D look. I'm still holding my finger in the middle so it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, I like it this way. And I'll have these two long here. Play a little bit with it. I'm not taking much time, but you can play with it a little bit. And in the center, I was thinking of maybe putting this again, but it's going to be too big. So I'm going to use something different that I have. And I've got these little flowers here. They were supposed to be orange, but they look a little bit pink on the camera. I don't know why. But I'm going to put one of these in the center. Okay, put a dab of glue. And put it just right there. How gorgeous is this? I mean, really, you didn't take it didn't take a lot of time. It didn't cost you a lot of money. And it's so nice. Paper flower, paper flower. Um satin or you know artificial flowers a little ribbon a mason jar or a recycle jar and you're going to make somebody really happy with little candles inside i mean this is i mean when you look at it when you smell and then when the person is going to use it is going to be absolutely awesome and i'll try to find again maybe some more masculine taste for this because that also could be another gift for maybe father's day why not for a change when you don't know what to do, it's really, really nice. It doesn't have to be only for ladies. I just love this. So please give me some thumbs up for this video. Do subscribe and don't forget the bell button. And uh, find out all my other videos. You know, when you click on the upper right corner, like I said, or in the end, I have more suggested videos if you want to check them out too. Don't forget to comment and share on social medias. Thank you so much. Take care and see you soon.